Well, I guess I'm live. I'm waiting for the the, the spinny wheel to, to stop spinning. Don't. <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of a mix up today. There's You're going to be stuck with me tutorial or the, the demo um sorry about that stuck looking at my mug um to, uh, we've gotten we've been uh, a lot of people have reached out and asked us what's the difference between the uh, sheets and the canvas our craft sheets and our canvas well, here's, here's a sheet and here's a canvas so we thought we would do a tutorial or a demo or whatever you want to call it on uh making coffee cozies so, you know, with a little coffee cozies. We've got two different varieties to do. Nice heavily felted one and a nice thinly felted one. And uh, we do have two, uh, a template that we get to use. Um, so, let's see. I'm just going to look over my cheat sheet. <laughs> Because I've got my cheat sheet right there, and I need to orient myself with my needles. There we go. And let's see. And let's see over here. The first item that I'm going to do is needle felting onto one of the sheets. And as you can see, it's relatively thin, freely pliable. This wouldn't give you a lot of uh, insulating factors, and, but you know, it's fun. We, they come in about 75 different colors. They're all available on our website under the 2D supplies. Same with the, the thicker sheets if you want to go with that. So you can either do like, um, I don't like using that word, but I stalled for a second. You can do freehand or you can use patterns. Uh, we've, we do have patterns that we can, we have a heart pattern that we can send out, heart. Um, but I'll, I'm gonna be using a cookie cutter. Really simple. Um, you can get cookie cutters from Michaels or, or whatever, you know, where, wherever you want to. Um, and which one am I dealing with? I can't even tell. Uh, one of these is is fine and one of these is is core, uh, medium and i don't know which one is which but that's okay so uh without ado i'm just gonna like you know pull the screen down just a touch and show you working space there it is so it's just you know you put the put the pattern wherever you want it take a bit of fiber out stuff it in Take a bit more fiber out, stuff it in, felt it in. Really simple. And it, it doesn't take a lot of work to get this done. This is a lot like uh, the zero waste uh, mending kit that we have, the, the wool kit. And that is in our zero waste section of our website. So if you learned, if you've done the tutorials with us on those, this is a lot like that because the, this sheet is thin, similar to uh, what your, your clothing would be like. And obviously I'm going into the pad. There we go. As you can see, it's come through. If you want, you could just sort of do the, the lock it in like this. If you really want to, you don't have to. This is totally like bonus, bonus material here. And if you have any questions, don't worry. You can just pop them into the question, the chat section. There. Jamie's just watching everything right there. So I, I didn't do a full heart on the back side because it's the back side. Pull it out. Yeah, it's nice and fuzzy. It's good. 
wonder it feels weird. I tend to tighten up my edges before I do anything else. Make the heart nice and angled in. Remember, when you're dealing with needle felting needles, they are very sharp. If you, if you make contact with yourself, they also can break. So when I'm going sideways like this, I'm going in, but I'm not changing the direction. So this is what called flicking, where I'm not trying to move the fiber with the needle. That's going to break the needle. You won't be able to see it in, in the screen, but right around here, it gets kind of thick up here, and then it gets kind of thin down here, and this is where the needle does all of its work. And they usually break right around here. Sometimes you can't help it, and they just break. That's why they're not all that expensive. We go, we go through, you know, we've got like old pasta jars filled with needles. Filled, literally. And there we go. Now, if you wanted, you could always take some embellishments and, and spruce up that heart. There's, there's the heart. Really simple. Really simple thing to do. Goes off there. You're done. All you have to do is you can do it by hand or by the sewing machine. Put a quarter inch seam right there. Actually, I, I, you know, I, I showed you the wrong way. I'd, I'd do it that way. So the inside goes on the outside. The seam right there. And then you fold it inside out. And it comes out looking like this. Done like dinner. Stick a fork in me. I'm, I'm going to put this one over here. So, again, I'm going to show you. This is the pattern. It's going to be on our blog, which is on our website. We're also going to have this video on our... Sorry about that. Here I am talking away, and I can just go like this. There we go. The tutorial, this is going to be on our blog, which is on our website. Uh, the video is also going to be on YouTube. Don't forget to head over there and subscribe. We're trying to get a little bit of an interest YouTube channel. When we hit 100 uh, subscribers, we get to change the name from being blah 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 to the general bee. So we're kind of excited about that. We're not close, but anyways, again. So what we just did was on this, nice and thin and flimsy. Now I'm going to work on the thicker stuff. This is a nice cream. It's lightly felted. Uh, you can see that it's pretty thick and compressible. It'd be really nice to work with on all sorts of different things. 2D, so doing a painting on the fabric. Um, you can make a bow tie out of it and anything you want. And Jamie's not laughing. So what we are doing is, I'm tempted to say Starry Night. But uh, I think that name is, is taken by a, a more popular painting. So I'm not going to say that it's Starry Night, but it's something similar to Starry Night. It's um, with Moony Night. No, I know, Bean. Don't worry. So one of the things that we're, we uh, would recommend as when you're doing this, um, what you might want to do is if you're buying the kit because we have put a supply kit together for the non van gogh type needle felting uh, what what you might want to do is because the pattern gets two cozies out of one sheet so if you want to actually make two cozies that have the same pattern you might want to take one of your fibers especially this uh, and break it in half. I know. I'm explaining it <laughs> because it's in my notes. So Jamie gave me a couple of extra ones, just in case I run out, because you know, we use a lot of fiber here. 
So the trick for this one is going up and over the edge. Uh, you want to have the edge, you want to have the top edge nicely dialed in, and you want to go up and over into the back end. So I'm going to show you that right now. Reach over here, turn this down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Now do this, we have our new uh, gear dialed in so that we don't have to do this with the screen. We can just press a, a button, which would be really nice. So I'm, I'm going to do a little bit here like this. And see, I'm, I'm sort of just a little bit, just a little bit, because it's pretty poofy as it is, as, as fiber generally is. And as you can see, I'm actually laying it out. It's above. So like that. And yeah, it's still up. Let me try and And I just lift it, tack it down, and so. Take the other piece, get it ready to go, pulling it apart. There we go. Yeah. Actually, what I'm going to do, a little trick. I'm going to pull just, pull just a couple of little bits like that. So as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm improvising here, folks. Improvising. I'll pull a couple of little bits. Don't tell Jamie that I'm improvising. She won't like it. Going off of the script. There we go. And now I can take... Nope. Right, I'm, I was thinking that I might have gone a little bit too far down. Yeah, okay, I'm going to leave those there for now. Up, 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 up. Then, remember what I said before, when we're going sideways, we can go sideways, there's no problem with that. But, we have to watch our fingers, and we have to make sure that we go fully sideways, so that we're not going in and flipping up like that. So, you can grab the fiber like this, Tuck it in. Grabbing it carefully. Da, 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 da. Look at this. Bada bing, bada boom. The painter is felting. You can just go straight in. You want to kind of make it dialed in. Now, with the magic of time-lapse photography, I'm going to go like this and that. Look at that. It's all done. So, because we don't have a lot of time, we had to make a bunch of things up ahead of time. So, what we'll look at is how, you know, we want to make sure that it's dialed. So, this is the edge that I was talking about up here. Okay. So, painting. The paint has the hardest time sticking to the corners. So these I've left aside because I might add them in later down here. Now the next step is beautiful color. Let me just put the whole thing there and just dial it in. Just kidding. You don't want to do that. Jamie looked at me like, what are you talking about? I don't think Jamie's going to let me do this again. <laughs> Again, see how I'm pulling it apart? This is one of the, the tricks that we do a lot. So as you can guess, I'm, I'm, I've kind of gotten kind of used to massaging my fiber. So it's pretty thick the way that it is. It's both thick luminously and it's kind of wide. So I don't need all of that. So I'm going to pull off. I learned a neat word the other day. This is called drafting, I think draft off a bit and it's still pretty fat pretty thick I don't need it that thick I can I'm thinning it thinning it out that's a new word the writer comes up with a new word and then then 
kind of like cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. And then again, just mark it in. Now, as you can see, there's some thick areas and thin areas. If you want to get creative, you can pull and This is where you can sort of be like a painter. Because you're, you're experiment. You're doing what, whatever you want to do, really. So as you can see right here, I saw there was a darker area right there. And I just separated the fiber to there. Going up to there. Same thing with right here. I want it to be dialed in there. Oh, I almost got myself with the needle. But now I can go like this. Like this. You can do that all over the place. Basically just creating the pattern that you want. And if you want, you don't even have to use the big piece. You can you can go by little little by little if you really want to. And if you want to make it maybe. You know, just a little piece at a time. No big deal. Again, the, the magic of time-lapse photography. And there we go. Look at that. See? It's actually done. Look. Up here we've got a little bit of this turquoise color. And it's basically exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, we've got turquoise, we've got blue, navy blue, and they're all mixing together. That's how we're getting sort of the, the diverse colors. And then we take our final color, final body color, go down on the, and we add it. I'm going to show you the way that I would, that I, that, that you could do it if you wanted to. Just taking a little piece out, and let's see. Because all the fibers are all oriented in one direction, it's easier to pull it along the fibers. So as you can see, I'm pulling it like that. I'm not breaking the fibers, I'm just pulling them. You want the fibers to be nice and happy. Happy little fibers. There we go. In. So you can do that. You can add a big body of it if you want, or you can just do little itty bitty bits. So, but when it comes to to the bottom, you are going to want to go around, and then felt into the edge. When I felt into the edge, I'm basically only sticking in. I don't know if you can see this, but not much of the needle. Hardly sticking in any. When I'm doing the body, I can go to the pad. But when I'm doing the edges, just do a very, very little bit. Because that's all you have to do. There we go. Again, thanks to the beauty of time-lapse photography, there it is. So see, it's all mottled. Like it's the, the colors are all mixed in. They're not, uh, it's not just band after band after band. And then we can free, yeah, sorry, um, I forgot there's uh, one step left. We call this our multi-pass. Pass is uh, so that we don't have to felt a lot. It speeds things up. But the multi-pass is very important to stay away from hands. And it's important to just go straight. This is for big area felting. This isn't for fine-tuned felting. And when you're doing big area felting like this, you want to keep your eyes on the prize. So because you know, if you felt one needle go in, this would be three needles at the same time. 
I've got scars from three needles and five needles, and as does Jamie. Now, just there, there was a thinner area just up here. So I pushed the blue. If I keep pushing, I'll push it away. So you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here, there's a little thin area. So that's one of the really cool things about needle felting. So you can move the fabric around to exactly where you want it. Oh, that area is getting thin. So I'll have to see if I can show you right there. Right there, it's a little thin because I was too, I was working too hard on the edge. It's gone. So we just hammer away on this for a little while until it's nice and dense. Beef jerky. And we want to add the other things, the other embellishments. For the stars, all you really have to do is dig a smidgen. It's a smidgen is a very important measurement. I would say that's about a smidgen. And I'll put it on there so you can see how big it is. It's very small. And then, so for the stars, I just need to felt it in. It's just a dot in the night sky. For the moon, again, you can use um, uh, cookie cutters if you if you have them available, uh, or you can just freeform it. Freeforming a moon, especially a crescent moon, mm. isn't really all that difficult. Just think of Mac the knife. So I'm just going to go like this. Makes it a little bit like that, and then. You just sort of hold it, tack it down a little bit. When I'm tacking it down, I'm tacking it down in the middle. So if you take a close look, let's see if I can get it accentuated. And as you can see, all my needle felting is down the middle of it. That's because if I make a mistake, again, I can push it and pull it. Okay. There we have it, started. Is roughly the moon. If I wanted to tune it, obviously I can. If I wanted to make it fatter or sharper, like this edge here is sharp and this edge is not quite so sharp, there's all sorts of things that you can do to achieve that. You can put a piece of fabric fiber here, start it again, going just down the middle, and then just bring it together. Meshing it together. And the finished result is going to be whatever you really want. These are free form and they're easy uh, to do. So. Use your, your imagination and create what you want. I'm just going to put one more star right there. Just for the fun of it. So there we go. There we have it, basically.
the basic The basic concept, take it too seriously, it's really easy to cover over the mistakes. And uh, just have fun. Uh, don't forget this whole video, the everything is going to be on the blog, which is on our website. Uh, you can also head over to YouTube. There's a link on the blog uh, that will take you straight to our YouTube channel instead of having you go and search for the general beam on YouTube. And that way you can just click the link, go to YouTube, subscribe, help us get to a hundred subscribers. And um, don't forget all of the supplies for this. It, there are on our website. We do have a kit uh, for this uh, that is also on our website. It's this. It, it is the supplies, and I do believe that's about it. We're at twenty-five minutes past the hour. If you're watching your time, um, and I think that's about it. We're good to go. Thanks for showing up. Oh. Oh, the club, the club. Don't forget about the, the club on Facebook, the uh, the General Bean Neil Felton Club. General Bean Felton Club. The General Bean Felton Club. We'd love to see finished. <laughs> we would love to see finished products. So uh, some people have been sharing some really awesome things, um, showing some real great uh, creative uh, juices going with these people. So that's us uh, free. You can just send in a request, fill out the questions, and you're in. All right. I'm going to hit the end button, and next time I'm going to wear my glasses. Good night. <laughs>